I'm Andrea Johnson. I'm a dental technician and I run the orthodontic and uh, maxillofacial laboratory service at Doncaster and Bassett Law Hospitals. I've been a dental technician for around about 15 years. Started out in a small private denture laboratory and have then worked around various different disciplines until I finally ended up in orthodontics. So dental technicians, we come in all shapes and sizes. We make all the appliances that you go to your dentist for and they, they prescribe you a crown, a bridge, a denture, um, removable orthodontic appliances. So we're the people that actually make those appliances. Every single appliance is custom made by hand by us to fit that specific patient. So it's as unique as a, a fingerprint. When we start out training, we get trained in all the disciplines, the three primary ones, so the crown and bridge, denture and orthodontics. We then tend to specialise in one, so we pick one and we stick with it. We get a little bit of overlap, but the good thing is about what we do is there's a little bit of something for everybody. Digital technologies is really taking over our industry, so we have a whole new breed of um, digital technicians coming in as well. So it's almost that we need people with the digital skills that we're now training in dental rather than the other way around. So there's such a broad spectrum um, available for people. Okay, so as I said, technicians, we come in all shapes and sizes and we make all different types of appliances. So I've got some example appliances here. So these appliances are orthodontic ones. The amount of different variations is vast, um, but generally we can make removable ones make them in all sorts of jazzy colours and shapes and sizes as I say. This is a real patient's um, model, these are their teeth, this will only fit them and it's a removable orthodontic appliance. This is made by a fabulous friend of mine who gave me a load of demo appliances. As you can see we shape the wire by hand to go around every one of these cribs and appliances is handmade by us. Some are fixed in the mouth, so the bands are cemented to the teeth and we make an appliance which is then fixed in so the patient can't remove it. It's another example of a lower one. So these are orthodontic appliances. Um, just for reference, these are 3D printed models of teeth. So with the 3D technologies nowadays, we're going from casting from gypsum stone models to new 3D printed models which we work on. Obviously, if you lose your teeth completely, well, hopefully that doesn't happen to any of you, but if that's the case, then we also make dentures. So this is a denture, and again, it's made to look as realistic as possible. We can change the colour of these gum tissues depending on um, your own tones and coloration. We can completely make it bob on for you. And there's the inside of it, so you can see. So that would just go up onto your gums. Beautiful. Obviously, we're working in quite a busy um, department at the moment. So we've got um, quite a few clinics going on. We've got patients around. Um, and I'm very lucky that the lab is actually just on the end of the clinic. So um, I'm on hand if anybody needs anything and uh, can give me a shout. So this is a lab. My lab is... Uh, lovely and compact and full of all the good stuff okay so this is my lab quite a nice little small lab with all my cool stuff in it so as you can see here we have a 3d printed skull so keeping with our 3d theme um, but then max fax technicians especially will uh, bend up plates just so the surgeons can actually help put the bones back together and put them in the right place and then they're held in place um, to heal but they've got to be custom bent for every patient because again we're all completely unique we're all very very different so you can't just get a size five off the shelf and and pop it on a patient it doesn't work like that unfortunately so this is one of my companions in the lab so how do you become a technician why would you want to become a technician We've been through quite a few of the exciting things about being a technician, all the different pathways within it. Um, but did I want to be this when I first started out? I had no idea dental technology even existed. I think like most people, you think you go to the dentist, if you need something, the dentist makes it, and then you go back 
um, and you pick it up a few days later. I had no idea and I hadn't had any dental work done, so I wasn't. Where I, I started out in school, um, came from a reasonably poor background. I worked in my local shop, so it was just natural to me that when I left school, I carried on working in retail. I did a YTS. Um, I worked up and did sort of management qualifications. I've worked um, in manufacturing as machinist, as a floor supervisor. I've done cleaning jobs, um, milk round for a few days. I worked in retail for a good 10, 15 years at uh, various different levels of, you know, up to management. And I enjoyed aspects of that. I did. I liked it. And, you know, I liked the, the interaction with the people. I worked at Pets at Home for a while, so I got to play with the animals. You know, there was cool things to do, but it didn't give me the challenge that I wanted. So I decided to have a look round for something new, something exciting, something challenging. I was 30 at the time, the time when most people are thinking, oh, I'm setting my career. Well, you're never setting your career. You've got to spend most of your life working. So if you don't like what you're doing, get out. Find something exciting. Um, the good thing about the dental technology training was that because we're very hands-on, we need to work hands-on as well. So I did day release. So I'd got my young daughter. She was, I think, three at the time when I started. Um, I could go to work at a lab that was literally three or four streets away from me. I never knew it was existed. So I saw the advert in the paper. I went round to the lab, had a look round. Honestly, I was like a small child. I was <laughs> running around going, wow, what's that? What's that do? Opening drawers with teeth in, going too near the dangerous equipment that I didn't know how to use at the time. Um, and the guys working there just thought it was hilarious, so they just gave me a job, I think, just because I amused them and I was so excited about everything. Um, so, yeah, I did day release. I was the oldest person in the classroom at the time, thought, is this going to be for me? But everyone was brilliant and we all gelled and we're still friends now. We're part of a big dental team. So we've got dental technicians, we've got dental nurses, therapists, hygienists, CDTs, obviously dentists as well. Um, then we've got the reception. It's you know we've got the whole team, and it's it's an amazing group of people to be part of, and the amount of things you can do within that are great. The types of courses that you can do. So obviously, like I say, most of them are day release because we need to be very hands on. So you need to have at least work experience in the lab for several days a week, or ideally just get yourself a job in a lab. As either an apprenticeship, there's quite a few apprenticeships coming up now, or um, most colleges do things like a BTEC, Level 3 Extended Diploma, Foundation Degree. You can carry on like I did and take it to um, degree level, you could take it on to Masters. If you really, really wanted to, you could do it at PhD level, but to be honest with most people, don't bother with that because they're already specialising and going in depth in their chosen field. And like I say, there will, there will be a CDT, clinical dental technician, or go on to do MaxVax. The scope of what you can do is really, really vast, and it's not hard to get into, and everyone's really, really supportive within the field. We want you to come in, we want you to succeed, and we want you to have a good time while you're doing it. If you want to come, have an interesting job, and just do it as a job, you can do that. You can go to it, you can do your job, you can leave. If you want a career within this field, you can have a career. You can have a career and you can start one career pathway and think, yeah, I've done that now. And then you can start another career pathway within it. It's great, there's no limits. The only thing that limits you is you. So I would highly recommend it. Um, look into it. If you want to get involved, please do. There's lots of information out there, especially on the NHS Careers website and things like that. So. Um, yeah, hopefully we will see you soon joining our wonderful dental family.